Okay, let's hopefully see this freaking work now. This is probably the millionth time I've attempted to do this video. In this video, guys, I'm going to go over um, how to get your protein intake high when you're on low calories. So when I was doing the photoshoot prep uh, back in April, um, I was high calories, and then my calories got cut completely, uh, significantly, by about 11 to 1200 calories per day, okay? I went very high on the protein, very low on the carbs. Um, so I was going to just run through this, show you what I did to hit the targets. Okay, so first off, on the Saturday, I was on 2,450 calories, 200 uh, protein, 300 carbs, 50 fats, okay? Flash forward to the next day, which is the 7th of April, um, I had dropped my calories down to 1,353 with 250 grams of protein hit every day, only 50 grams of carbs at a maximum and then 17 is on the fat okay so that was my target then going forward for the next few weeks up until the photo shoot challenge or a few days out from the photo shoot challenge where i increased my calorie intake um 250 calories uh, 250 grams rather of protein per day on 1350 calories is doable now there's many of you guys that will come in you're on 1400 calories and you're saying you can't hit 110 grams of protein that is just plain wrong Okay, I'm going to show you that it can be done. I'm living proof that it can be done because I did 250 grams of protein per day on less than 1400 calories. Okay, it just takes a bit of work and patience, guys. Trial and error, basically. Um, as you can see, I went over by three grams on the first day. Whoop. Um, <laughs> so what I'm going to do on this video is hopefully educate you a little bit on the tips and tricks that I picked up along the way of how to increase your protein. And obviously, I am coming from a background of knowing a bit more about nutrition than the typical person that will be watching this video now. So yes, I do understand that uh, this is my job. Um, so that's why I'm doing the video to help you guys. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to run through every single day of my nutrition over the, the prep because there was about two weeks of this, um, or three weeks, I can't remember, two weeks. Um, but hey, I'm going to go through it and pick up the key elements which helped me increase in protein now first off when you're doing this guys when you're planning your meals you need to put in your protein first so your breakfast lunch dinner plan in a protein source first put that in and then maybe snack or whatever to hit your protein target for the day now once you've done that in my fitness pal then you can buffer it out a bit with your carbs and your fats to get closer to your calories and closer to your macro targets obviously when you get those added in your protein uh, totals are going to go up past what you were aiming for just go back in adjust your protein uh, sources down a little bit just to get closer to the numbers you're aiming for okay so that's how i did it um well that's how i would do it rather uh, what i initially did was um just winged it basically because only because of my knowledge i know a bit more than uh, most people do when it comes to this kind of stuff okay so some of the key elements then uh, yeah. This day I was out, I believe I was down the beach or something like that because we all went into Morrison's and grabbed a load of crap. So I grabbed the Morrison's Flame Grill Chicken Mini Fillets, 200 grams, gave me 46 grams of protein. Uh, notice the sodium levels, freaking high. Um, okay, and on my dinner I had egg whites from six large eggs, give me 22 grams of protein. That's, uh, that's alright. And then the uh, chicken fillets again bit more chicken breast down here 400 grams and i say a bit more that's a lot of chicken breast and uh what else a protein serving okay so uh whey protein basically that's the majority of my protein intake there uh, and as you can see it, it got up to 250 gra uh, 250 grams of protein that day obviously we did get a few more protein uh sources but they're very minuscule okay so let's move on to uh, the monday Okay, so free range egg whites. This is a godsend, guys. If you eat eggs or you will eat eggs, then this is great because you can buy egg whites in carton. I don't know why people get really like butt hurt about throwing yolks away, guys. The the egg is dead already. I mean, if you're not gonna eat it, throw it away or give it. I don't know. Can you feed it to dogs? Who knows? Um, but don't eat it just because you feel sorry for not eating it all. That's mental. Um, but anyway, I digress. The free range egg white carton of egg whites in Tesco's or Asda, I don't know anywhere else that does it. Um, amazing, okay? Saved me a lot of hassle of cracking eggs and spilling eggs. Mm. Um, so, yes, egg whites, 
brilliant source of protein. Uh, the chicken breast, brilliant. Egg whites again. If you look at the pro uh, broccoli here, guys, check this out. 200 grams of broccoli, uh, 7 grams of protein. So if you need to get some veg in, some protein in, some carbs in, but not a lot of calories, then broccoli is a good option. Okay, not the only option. Uh, tuna, so one tin of uh, tuna in spring water, John West, is 27 grams of protein. Pro uh, pair that up with chicken breast again, and then uh, a serving of protein. Okay, and then before bed, I had another serve of protein. Um, those hit my numbers exactly, 250 grams. Okay, what I did was put them in and then buffered the meals out. Okay, so what I wasn't doing them all in the morning, I was doing my breakfast. Uh, make sure it was majority protein, my lunch, majority protein, then my dinner, majority protein to um, get my protein intake up, and then uh, the rest of my carbs came in and my fats and that kind of stuff. Okay, so that's why I, I winged it a little bit more because because um, my uh, knowledge. Okay, but you wouldn't wing it. Um, let's move on. What you'll notice as well, if I go back here, have I got them on here? If I go back a little bit, let me go back here. So on the Monday, I was still fitting in my jelly bean factory, gourmet beans, okay? So seven grams of them. I can't remember how many beans that actually is. But that was my little snack, my post-workout treat, um, just so I didn't feel like I was restricting myself completely because I'd already cut my calories by 11 or 1,200 calories. Um, okay, so jumping on here. This messed me up, guys. This battle oats uh, protein cookie, purely because the carbs were very high, but the fats and the proteins weren't so great. Um, so if you look down here, I didn't have much else in the way of carbs. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> but protein sources, protein, whey powder, uh, free range egg whites, chicken breast again, the yogurt, 22 grams uh, in the uh, Arla Ski yogurt. I put that with my protein powder, mix that in, lovely. And then King Prawns, guys. 38 grams of car, uh, of protein per 200 grams serving, okay? Really good, because obviously the, they can go with pretty much anything. And I was putting them with white fish fillets. Frozen white fish fillets, brilliant. Two of those, uh, yeah, it was two of those. Uh, 41 grams of protein. That was it. My protein smashed it, guys, okay? All you need to do is look at putting your protein sources in first. That's what you need to do to make sure you hit your protein targets. And then buffer the meals out, like I keep saying. Now, you can have red meat. I had steak on this day. Um, but bear in mind, it does have more fats in it than the white meats, okay? Uh, but uh, go for it, because it's good to get a nice different source of protein uh, every so often, okay? Don't just stick to chicken breast. Like, I ate tons of it, like you can see here. Um, I think one of those was a snack, and then one was with main meal, because um, I'm sick, and I'll just eat chicken with uh, steak. And then prawns made an appearance again. What I got into then, as you can see here, I was making omelettes, uh, a prawn omelette with egg whites, and then chuck and cherry tomatoes in, red onions. Really good meal, you can see 276 calories, 58 grams of protein, low in the carbs, really low in the fats. So really good, really good. And it filled you up. It was a, that was a good serving, guys. Um, I don't know if I got a picture, but they have a chuck around. Okay, so going through it, guys. It's basically the same. Um, little hacks like the light and light mayo. Uh, mix that in with some tuna. And then what I was doing that with that is putting it in with... Um, like I was cutting the pepper in half and stuffing the pepper. So that made you feel really good, full um, and elastic. It was a really nice uh, meal, per se. Um, but yes, yeah, still hitting 250 grams, guys. I actually went over again there. Huh? Mental. Um, yes. It, it was... Simple guys, I kept it simple. It was only two weeks. Now with regards to yours, yours is 12 weeks, but you're not going to be having to hit 250 grams of protein every day. You're going to be literally at least 100 grams under, um, depending on who you are. If you're a male, you're probably going to be a little bit more than um, 150, okay? But it is not that difficult, guys. Like I keep happening on about it, get the protein sources put in first. Um, if you want, I can screenshot these and just put them in the group so you can look at them and you, it's got the breakdown there so you can put it in my fitness path for yourself. Um, but it's very, very easily done. It's just about playing with the numbers, guys. That's all it is. Um, let me see. So, let me see. Where's it? Um, so, down here you can see I was a bit short on my protein towards the end of the day. Um, so, I'd had 300 grams yogurt okay, to get the protein up. 
and the scoop of protein powder in there. The other one was uh, a midday or after training, I can't remember. Okay, and there you go. There's my stuffed peppers meal. Uh, lighter than light mayo, mix it with the tuna from spring water and stuffed in red pepper. 332 uh, calories. But look at the protein content, guys. Amazing. Um, but this went on, like I said, two or three weeks, I can't remember. Still hitting the numbers, 250. That was my main concern, guys. Getting the protein in. Because the protein, um, a gram of protein, sorry, gram of protein, um, they are the same amount of calories per gram of protein as it is per gram of carbs. So they keep you feeling full for the same amount of duration. But obviously, the protein is going to help you a little bit better uh, by way of your muscle repair. Okay, so your aim with the photo shoot challenge is to keep your uh, muscle density as high as you can um, so you're not diminishing your training gains. Okay, now that's all I'm going to do, guys. I'm not going to go on anymore because I'm just, it's boring really showing you this. But like I said, if you want me to, I can screenshot these and upload them into the group. I'm, I'm kind of conscious about the time of the video now. Um, we're going on 12 minutes by the time I wrap this up. Okay, um, but yeah, th that's basically what I did, guys. That's it. Um, hopefully that's going to enlighten you and make you understand the fact that you can hit your protein targets within a certain amount of calories. It's, it's no harm, guys. It's easily done. Okay. Any questions, comment below. Uh, if not, then hopefully it's helped you.